hello all today we will see actually how to add the value written into a sheet using some condition normally what we do is we add a value with a condition which is I mean um, more or less uh, you can say uh, similar let's say we are having two records of a specific person and uh, then we want to add so we can do it very easily by saying sum if or we can say sum if s what is the range which you want to sum the first criteria is the sum range so i want to do this criteria it is always better to press f4 so that it gets freezed up and then comma what is it where is the criteria range which where you want to exactly check the condition so this is our criteria range so there is this is where i want to check my condition again i'm freezing it by pressing f4 comma now what is your exact criteria so if i want to fix my criteria i will say let's say s a l m m k h n so this is where I am freezing my criteria so I will get a value which is very much addition of this if I exactly want to see where this value is coming from I can very well see dependency so you can you can check uh, the dependency part of this you can say this trace dependency mm, active cell okay I don't know there is some problem So there is some 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 uh, non-stuffing formula, but anyway, I will let you know. So this sixteen twenty is coming from adding this and adding this, and the criteria is very simple. It it says a fixed uh, stuff which needed to be added. Now what if I want to get a criteria which says add all the asset of all the cons? So that means I am going to use some kind of uh, you know uh, condition which is random, which is automatically decided. And here comes the utility of wild cards. So there are two wild cards. One is asterisk and one is question mark. Asterisk stands for n number of uh, any number of you know characters, while question mark stands for one number of characters. We will see basically the use of asterisk. So what I say you need to add all khans but before that it could be anything it could be shan masalwan it could be kadar it could be amar it could be anything so for that what i will say i will say master it says that anything and then i will say ampersand ampersand means these both has to be added anything and then khan it will do let's see whether it works or not Quita, it says 1942. Let us see how actually it is working. Uh, this is again Khan, this is Khan, this is Khan, and this is Khan. 1942 is what I am getting. A count of four, five rows. You cannot see because it is here at downside. Here at downside. So it's showing, showing me something like that only. So 1942 is the answer. So this is the answer. In case if you want to add uh, something after this, after Khan, I also want to check anything, again anything. So then in that case, you can again use the same stuff. So now it will say anything before Khan, anything after Khan. Do it. So although it will not change anything, but definitely if I if I, if I if I do a changes, let's say I copy this and here in the formula bar I remove the asterisk which is afterwards and here on let's say I change this formula by Khan Shahrukh. Now see the difference. In this formula it has added all those where it is Khan at the end with these four records while here it hardly matters where it is at the starting or at the end if Khan is there in the word it will be added so here he has been added 
and the final figure is 940. So use asterisk within bracket within uh, basic within double quotes. Will be in double quotes. Quotes for any number of words for any number of characters. Characters. And then you can use ampersand to add two condition. Like in my case, I am doing asterisk, then ampersand, then so this is the two condition. So this is a formula which we have used. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. See you again.